free capping. Please. I gotta, I, I can't do this right now, dude. I'm taking a shot. Cheers. On this video by Lori Hill. And it's called Doja Cat Looks Different Than Before. Here's why. And everybody would say, Doja, what are you doing? Stop it. What are you doing? Stop fucking uh, going on the internet and looking at stuff about you and the plastic surgery, blah, 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 blah. That's what this is about. It's, it's about plastic surgery. It's about this bitch, Lori Hill, talking about people's bodies, talking about people's surgery. But this bitch made a fucking plastic surgery video on Megan the Stallion. Shut the fuck up, bro. At that rate, Megan the Stallion is home fucking grown. This bitch has nerve. And I'll tell you something. You want to sit there in your fucking chair talking about how this girl and that girl and this girl got this and that done? Bitch, look at you. You got work to do right now. And I won't say more. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's chop it up. I'm pissed off and a lot of people would say, you're mad because it's the truth. You're mad because she clocked you on something. But fuck that. I'm mad because there's lies about me. That's what the fuck I'm mad about. So bitch, you really wanna go? Let's go. She's doing it on purpose. By the way, before I get into this, you're welcome. You're welcome for the clout. It's not good clout, but it's clout. It's what you ask for. It's what you get when you make lies up about people, when you say shit about people. Bitch, I'll tell you one thing. I built my career off of my body and the way that my body looks and making my fans feel confident in the way that their body looks. And the moment that I start losing weight, bitches like you, Jack Skellington bitches like you want to start talking about the way that I look. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Don't be afraid. Don't click out. This is screen capped. It'll be on the internet. You'll see it. Don't be scared. Don't run away. You brought this shit on yourself, bitch. So let's go. Yeah. Anyway, continuing. This bitch starts talking about how... <laughs> So I wrote on the right. Talking about rhinoplasty. Her example is a picture of me from 2014. In 2014, I wasn't shit. In 2014, I had little to no money. I was depending on boyfriends to buy me food. I was eating eggs and oatmeal. Eggs and oatmeal, bitch. I was eating Chick-fil-A, eggs, oatmeal, Taco Bell, fucking all types of short ribs, all types of shit. I was thick. And I got a picture of myself from 2014. It's a head-on photo. The second photo that she is putting next to it is a picture of me from 2020. Now, I don't really know math like that. I dropped out of school, I'm not very good at numbers. But I was much older. You can guess 2014 to 2020. I don't know how fucking old I was. That's a big fucking gap. And a lot of drugs, some drugs. A lot of alcohol. <laughs> well, drugs, I guess, yeah. I smoked a lot of weed in 2014. So let's start there. A lot of weed. A lot of fucking alcohol. A lot of shit like that does things to your body. I'm not even reading the chat. I'm rapid fire right now. Alcohol, weed, all that shit can fuck with your body. Depression, things like that can really fuck with body can fuck with your physical form i was eating marinara and bread every day that was the beginning of my, my depression i remember and my body was very different i was i was puffy i was sad i was fucked up in 2014 and this dumbass bitch wants to put a side-by-side -side photo of me from when i was depressed puffy unhealthy unhappy i'm still drinking that doesn't mean shit suck my dick 2014 to 2020 me now i eat like a goddamn bunny i eat like a fucking goddess i eat like an angel i drink like a like a 1920s fucking whatever gangster or something you know from atlantic city but that's besides the point 
I'm watching a lot of uh, Boardwalk Empire. Anyway, um, I'm confused. I'm confused why you think your logic lies in a side-by-side -side photo of someone from 2014 to 2020 in order to judge whether they had a rhinoplasty or not. Fuck out of here, bitch. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea that I had no fucking makeup artist. I was doing my own makeup. I was learning how to do my own makeup and I wasn't very good at it. And we can get into details and things like how I had my eyeliner was thicker and so it covered most of my eyelid space, plus the puffiness, plus everything else. We can get into that. I don't really feel like it. I kind of just did, I guess. But the point is, you're dumb. You're blind, and you're dumb. And your whole shit is fucked up. And if I could tear your whole empire down, I would. I think that you're so, you're an ill-mannered, less than smart person. And congratulations on that. I feel bad for you. Cheers. Listen. It's so sad. It's sad. I'll, I'll tell you first. And none of you guys have to believe me. I, I'm not even reading the fucking chat. Because it doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The point... Why are you playing music that loud? What I'm saying... Is I've lost a lot of weight, yeah? And... You want to know what I did in the last couple of weeks? I went to a surgeon a few weeks ago for the first time. I've never spoken to a surgeon. I never looked into that. I've always said, oh, I wish my titties were higher. Or I wish I had perkier titties. This, that, blah, 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 blah. And so I wanted to go in. I scheduled an appointment. And he told me, he said to me, in order for you to get a boob lift, is what I wanted. I wanted him to staple my titties to my chin. Okay? So I wanted him to staple my titties to the top of my hairline. I wanted them shit so high up I couldn't see him past the clouds. So, I went and he told me, I see that you smoke. And I said, yes. And he said, he said, you're going to have to quit three weeks prior to you getting your titties done. He didn't say it verbatim like that because that's kind of aggressive. But the fact that he told me I had to smoke, what do you think that I would do? Because a lot of bad things can happen to me. You think I would sacrifice my fucking brand? You think that I would keep smoking after my titty? It, before, I've been on live every other fucking, uh, you know, month or so. It doesn't work that way. You cannot be smoking and getting your tits done and fucked with. You need to take care of your body if you're going to get surgery. And that's that. That's all. That's how it works. There's people who don't take care of their body and they go and they do it and then they get lucky or they fucking, or they don't. And things go really bad. But me, I have a fucking thing to look after right now. So do I really wanna do, I need to think about that. I don't, I've never done anything to my fucking body. You know the fakest thing about me is my eyelashes, hair, and motherfucking nails. I'm just so upset. I can't fuck. Are you okay, Miss Doji? Yes, I'm fine. Let me rant. Anyway, this dumbass bitch talking about I have a fucking rhinoplasty. My nose is the same goddamn nose. And it doesn't matter. I waste my breath saying that. We have the same fucking nose. And someone's body changes in five years. It does, if you know anything about growing up. You stupid bitch. Fuck out of here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, moving on. Right, is after any changes to it. The photo. You're welcome for the clout, bitch. Originally had, but I, I'm gonna stand up for my fans. I'm gonna stand up for what the fuck I I came into this industry doing, which is being cool with my body. I never really liked it to be honest. Thought my body looked like fucking crazy and shit. Like I felt good on certain days. Some days I felt fat. Fucking I didn't like the way I looked. Blah blah whatever. Everybody has their days. That's fine. Why is that music so fucking loud? 
chill. Anyway, no, the music is not coming out the mirror. I wish it did. So anyway, moving on. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, this bitch starts talking about lipo and shit. Have I considered lipo? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all the time, bro. All the whole my whole fucking life, I've been like, oh, this is weird. Like. My body, my, my hips have always been small, my ass is big, and I was like, this is unproportionate. Like, I need, like, a leveling. Like, I like having a, I like juicy asses, but if it could just be a little bit more proportionate or this or that. And I'd always look in the mirror and be like, eh, I don't like that, eh, I don't like that. And I would think about lipo. And this bitch was talking about how I got, how I definitely got lipo, how I definitely fucking... How, how I got all this shit done. And the fact that th I had to find this video while I'm drunk really upsets me. That pisses me the fuck off, bro. It makes me so mad. Because you know what that does? That has 200,000 people who may be my fucking fans looking at that shit going, Oh, she's fake, so I need to get my shit done. Oh, if I want to look like that, I can't. I can't look like that. Or I can't be the best version of myself. I can't lose weight. I can't do this. I can't change myself. I can't make myself look better in a natural, healthy way. Not to say surgery isn't a good thing. Go do your fucking thing. If you want to do surgery, that's fine. That's okay. I support that. It's okay. But I'm saying the fact that this bitch who is verified is talking about she did get this done. She did do this. I think she did this. I think she did that. I don't give a fuck what you think. The fact that you have this platform and you're showing my fans, my whole brand, you came for my brand. You came for my whole brand and you're fucking with me. Wrong bitch. Wrong bitch. And I'm not saying that I won't get surgery done. I'm not. Maybe in the future. Maybe when my shit starts hanging low in a drastic way. Maybe. Sure. Why not? But right now, you better fucking live in this reality, bitch. Because whatever reality you're living in is fucking with me. It's fucking with me. I don't like, I don't like the way you're coming from my brand. This is who I am. It's who the fuck I am. I got fucking, I got my shit jiggles. And guess what? Sometimes titties look different when your top is tighter. Sometimes titties look different when your top is too big. So let's talk about that. And your side by side of my titties when I was wearing a fucking American apparel jump, uh, what is it, like a bodysuit that was a little too big and it wasn't, there was no support. A side by side of that compared to something with me in a bikini, me in a bikini, do you know what a bikini does? It's adjustable. It ties around the neck, around the body. So you can take the part that goes around the body, hike it up here, top of the back, take it, tie it tight. And it pulls the titties up to here. You see what happens when I hold my titties up? That's what they look like. When I let them go, they go down. So I'm confused as to what the fuck you're going off. If your logic is trash, your whole fucking brand is trash. Everything you do is trash. And bitch, if you want to talk to me, talk to me. Ask me if I got something done. Have the fucking gumption. I will not have you come for me like that. I do not like you. And if you'd like to speak like an adult, I'd really love to. I don't know if I'd be very good at it. But how fucking dare you? Stupid bitch. Looking like a fucking Halloween pumpkin. 
ridiculous. My point about the rhinoplasty was also not really finished. When I said that, when she said that my nose was done and I said that I didn't have a makeup artist, a makeup artist can do a lot to your nose. Also the comparison that she's using to prove her point is a picture of me when I won a fucking VMA or something. I won an award when my first, I think it was my first award. So the camera is different from the camera that was used in that in the other photo of me with a different, with the bigger nose of my original nose. Anyway, I don't like any of these fucking dumbass surgery bitches. They're fucking annoying. There's one girl that I like. There's one girl that I like. That shit makes me so fucking mad, bro. So mad. I hate that shit. My fucking feet are sweating. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'm disappointed. And I'm really just pissed off. Stupid bitch. Moving on. Shaved inward, being swept up. Now looking closer at a photo of Doja. And she talked about my eyebrows. Bitch, you used a picture of me with no eyebrows compared to a picture of me with my eyebrows drawn on. She said that I had an eyebrow lift, some shit like this, one of these. Every black girl knows, every girl who wears wigs knows, if you take the face, pull it up, put the wig on, take the face, pull it, put the wig down, it pulls the face this way. I didn't have a fucking J stay ready. I didn't have a, a wigologist on my team to help me figure out what the fuck I was doing. This is a trash ass photo from 2019 and this is a photo from 2020 of me at the Grammys. 2019 I wasn't at the Grammys. 2019 I was still doing radio tours. This is a picture of me with no eyebrows. I thought it was chic and cute, whatever. My eyes were rounder and I did my wig my, myself. The fuck? Anyway. Anyway, this bitch wants to compare it to a picture from the Grammys where my shit was pulled back and I did my eyebrows different. I do my eyebrows up to lift my face. Clearly your eyes are broken and the biggest surgery you will benefit from is getting your eyes done, bitch, because they are broken. I don't even know if anybody can save you from that. Your vision is fucked. You need some glasses is what you need. You don't need a fucking surgeon. You've done enough. And everyone can tell that from first glance. You need some glasses. Fuck out of here. Daft bitch. Don't take any advice from a bitch named Lori. Shout out to all the Lori's out there, but this is a bad Lori. This bitch's name is Lori. Lori. Nine oh two one oh ass bitch. I kind of just came for myself, but anyway. Moving on. Shaving or vision. This is the best photo of the change I could find with her. She thinks I had eyelid surgery too. Around her nasal labial folds as well. If you look at her jawline, her jawline has been lifted and tightened. Weight loss. Now all of these changes. Wig. Weight loss. Is together point heavily at Doja having had a ponytail facelift around 2020. Now, all of these changes that I just mentioned, I believe are part of one procedure that is called- The crazy thing is this is projection at, at its finest. You know when someone does something so much that they hate themselves for it? They're like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? I didn't need to do this. There's no going back. There's nothing I can do. So that there is now their escape, their escape from that 
horror, their escape from that living nightmare is to go at other people, acting like other people are dealing with the same pain that she's dealing with. It's exactly what's happening here. The fact that, and you know what? I don't commend myself at fucking all for the way that I've been talking for the last 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep that same energy. I still don't like you. And I, I do feel sorry for you. I shouldn't be saying bitch this and bitch that and fuck you and blah, 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 and you stink. I shouldn't. Shouldn't be saying that. It's very hard to not say things like that when you're angry. So excuse me. But I really don't like, I really don't like it. It's such a bad vibe. It's such a bad look. Because it's so confident. It's not a mistake. She didn't make a mistake. She's confident. She's really going head first. She's really going plastic first into this entire fucking debacle. And I want you to know, I want everyone to know that I will get this shit. It, I, I wouldn't just watch this and get it removed. I'm coming on live and I'm, I'm gonna tear this shit down one by one and then get that shit removed because I don't like my fans seeing that. Because my fans doesn't mean just everybody is, everybody knows exactly what the fuck's going on. Not, not everybody, some people are more gullible. Some people will think that I did all these things and blah, 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 blah. But the truth is, it's like, why the fuck would I allow that under my nose, under my fucking, under my table, under, my, under what the fuck I'm doing? Why would I let people do that? Why would I, why would I let my fans be swayed like that. That's bullshit. Even if I did get hella shit done, I'd rather that shit not even be, bro. Her just talking about me, just fuck, fuck that. And that's my brand. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what's funny is a really close friend of mine knows a, um, knows a surgeon uh, who's a, a friend of theirs and the surgeon said that uh, they saw pictures of me and they said her, her nose is her nose is fake that's not her nose it's too perfect this sounds really fucking cocky for me to repeat it's not that cool of me to be saying that shit but it's just funny how wrong it's funny that even the most, someone can go to school for years, get the job of their dreams, and still be fucking wrong just by their eyesight. I like my nose. I'm happy about my nose. I never felt like I needed to change my nose. There's nothing wrong with my nose. I'll tell you all the things I'd like to change about my body. I'd like to change my fucking, I wish my calves weren't so big. I worked, I, I uh, danced a lot when I was little and I had very active, but big calves, big, big thighs. And so I have a lot of trouble wearing certain things. Like I, I love thigh high boots are like the sexiest thing ever. That's like my dream is to have like fucking thigh high boots that I could wear, but nothing fits me. I would do that, but I can't. If there's a way I could change that, I would. Maybe. Maybe I get scared and pussy out right at the last minute. But I'm not fucking, I'm not out here doing surgery, bro. I don't, I'm, I, this shit is beyond me. That's another mindset. It's not bad. I'm not against it. I just haven't found the courage to fucking do it. But when bitches like, sorry. When people like this, go on YouTube and say shit about me and confirm it to hundreds of thousands of people, that's when they are going to get the, the bad side of me, bro. That's when they're going to deal with the worst possible fucking outcome of me. I'm not fucking with you, bro. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with my people. Don't fuck with my fans. Don't do that. All these fucking people in the comment section, the first one is like a very obviously devoted fan of mine. And they're like, 
I could definitely tell that she had work done after she made it big. Would they have said that? Would they have said that regardless of her? It's just so fucking, it's crazy. And then you know what it does? You, you know what's, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something to all the people that really love me and really appreciate me or are here because they enjoy what I do, whatever the content, the music, whatever. You can be not into getting surgery done and still look good. Like, my point, my point is don't lose hope. I never, I always wanted to invest my money in fucking shit that mattered. You know, I splurge and I have fun here and there. I, I buy shit for my friends and I enjoy myself. But like at the same time, I'm not gonna go in and do something as drastic as that unless I really fucking believed in it. And I feel like if I did that, y'all would be able to tell. It just pisses me the fuck off, bro. Cause I, I, I dealt with so much like shit, like looking at myself when my fucking, dude, I would look at my body and be like, it's not right, it's not right. And then the next day I'd be like, it's right, it's good, it looks good. This, dude. I'm spent. I'm spent after that. I'm fucking done. That pisses me off. This is that stage. This you know I know what the fuck this is? If anybody gets fucking famous, if you get famous one day if you're watching this, this is the shit that you have to go through. This this is the shit you have to deal with is some somebody is gonna be like, oh you look like, why is her fucking lips bigger in this picture? And like, it's how you deal with it that matters. I don't feel like I'm dealing with it in the best way right now, but I think it's okay. I think it's fair that I'm pissed off. I think it's fair that I'm mad just cause like, like I said, and I keep repeating myself, I, you know, I, my whole thing was like trying to accept myself and then it turned into fucking me fucking eating well and going to rehearsal and my body's changing i'm 26 not 19 anymore you know it's changing and i accept it and i love it as time goes on i love it because i'm learning how to take care of myself I didn't, I didn't know how to take care of myself but then when somebody comes and just tears that down just says you know just completely discredits everything that you learned in the last seven or eight years of your fucking life. Completely shuts it down, tears it down. That complete stranger like that. And a stranger who has who has power, really. Who has a force. It can really it can really fuck with you, it can make you really upset. So you're welcome for the clout, but also I'm sorry for the clout as well. Because you're not going to look good after this. But mostly you're welcome because you're probably going to learn. This isn't your profession. This isn't what you want to do. Leave the girls alone. <laughs> we don't need that. Mazel tov. Makes me curious. It's like, what else? What else? What else did these motherfuckers, you know? Who else did she shit on? 
Some people don't care. The thing is, there's a, there's different ways to take it. Some people take it as a compliment. It's like, oh, you got your ass did. You got this done. You got this done. You know. Some people take it like, thank you. I'm unreal. Yeah, she probably did do it to fucking Ari, you know? She probably did it to everybody, bro. It doesn't even fucking matter at this point. It's just lame. It's a lame fucking, it's a lame way to make money. It's a lame way to get views. It's a lame way to live. It's lame. It's fucking lame. She did to everybody. I'm just the wrong, I'm the wrong bitch. I'm the wrong, I'm the wrong one to be doing shit like this about. You don't wanna do shit like that to me. You don't wanna talk to me like that. Or you don't wanna spread shit like that about me. You don't, you don't. That's when I get on camera with my fucking edges out and it's a wrap. Whatever, bro. It's hard to just be like cool all the time. It's hard to just be like. It's hard to just be like, like whatever, you know. That's a big. That's a big part. That, like that fucking triggers the fuck out of me. That's my brain working, right there. When people are like, oh, your surgery. Rhinoplasty, liposuction. Rhinoplasty ain't shit to me because I love my nose my whole life. But the other shit, like the shit that I wanted to do to my body, the the liposuction, I wanted to get that. I wanted to get um, a, a a lift. I'm not gonna cry. She doesn't deserve my fucking tears. This is not worth crying about. It's not that deep. But it's it really fucks with you when it's like your whole life, almost your whole life, I guess. You know when you get into your teens and you start looking at yourself and you're watching music videos and shit. She took the video down? As she should. As she should. And everybody, and you know what? If she's watching this, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. That shit's not cool, bro. You can't just... What's the... You know, there's another way of doing this. There's like a... There's like when... um. There's like when, when I put a song out and my fans get the lyrics wrong. And they're trying to sit there listening to it. And they type it out and they think I said something. But what they put is wrong. That's different. That's, that's, that's like... But it's the same thing at the same time. It's like, these are the wrong lyrics. This is not what I said. That's not what I would do. That's not me artistically. When I sit there and I spend my time working on myself, working on my crap, working on this song, on this project, and I put all those hours into it and someone gets the lyrics wrong, it breaks my heart because I want people to experience everything that I put out in the full. So when someone is just sitting there looking at pictures, here, let's compare the, oh, maybe, oh, maybe, the, oh, maybe, oh, maybe. Those maybes really fucking hurt. Those maybes really fuck with me. Because I've been working on myself in order to look like this. No, I didn't do any of this shit or whatever the fuck, this shit. That's all just spinach and fucking Brussels sprouts and chicken and sashimi and shit. That's all that, that's all that my body is right now. But motherfuckers are like, bro. And I, I hate, I hate to be that person that is, is like aggressive, but I can't, I'm sorry, I gotta let you know, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be pissed off, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off on your ass, 
because I don't think you deserve less than that. I think it, when it's when it's something this big, personally to me, when you come from my personal, my body, my body, when you come for what I live inside of, then it's over. It's a wrap. Don't come for my body, bro. Don't do that. I'll let you know when I get some shit done. I let everybody know when I got veneers done. My fans know who the fuck I am. They know that I'll tell them. They know that I'll tell them what the fuck is real. I'll be the f you'll be all be the first ones to know. When I get my titties done, I'll let you know. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking act. I'm not an actor. I'm not an actress. I probably could be. I'm not gonna do that. So just know, I'm not embarrassed. I'll let you know. It's not up to her. It's not up to her to tell you. Anyway, I love you. I'm out of here. I needed to vent that. I feel better now. I'm gonna go watch Boardwalk Empire. And uh, thank you, Lori, for taking down the video. But reconsider what you're doing, because you can really, you could really upset somebody. You know, imagine, you know, it's like maybe you would want this done to you. Maybe you would want somebody analyzing you over the what you've gotten done and blah, 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 blah. But there's some people out there who really don't like that shit. Who don't appreciate it. Who don't think it's cute. Who are on the internet. Who are real. That are breathing. That are present. They don't like that. It's not worth it. Find something else. Love you. Bye, guys.